Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man. Have no fear, Taekwondo is here. Y'all know what's going on. Today's video is all about positioning with a girl. Leverage, using leverage, creating leverage, creating a better position, and how to maneuver when you're talking to her or dealing with her that positions you to wear the pants in a relationship or to have the power. Not power over her, not not in a control sense, but power in the sense that she'll be more submissive. You'll you'll be more you'll be able to be more assertive. Your words and your you know being as the man in a relationship, you'll be more effective. She'll listen to you, respect you more, all kinds of things, bro. And what we gonna how we're gonna do this is we're gonna be looking at this DDG video. Now the video is I ran into my old crush. She said I'm toxic, right? <clears throat> the bottom line is the reason we're using this video is because we watched this on Twitch early. Like early, Twitch saw this first, right? But I didn't give them the whole breakdown. We just reacted to it as a normal video. And as we watched this video, I was telling them, I'm like, yo, this is the perfect video to use when trying to explain leverage and positioning. Because it's like, like DDG doesn't have bad game. He just has no game. Like it's a difference. It's, it's three things. A dude either has game I'm not saying F you with the middle finger. A dude either has game, has bad game, or has no game. Bad game is worse than no game. Let me tell you that right now. If a dude has bad game, he's cringe, he's weird, he's awkward, he's nervous, he's all these other weird things. Like a limp, right? Limps have bad game. They're just bad at it. Can't catch a W to save them lives. They just fumble everything. DDG has no game, which is like... Like he'll he'll still be like calm and in his in his you know what I'm saying frame and doing his thing with women, but it's like since he has no game, he's missing out on opportunities that that way that he would could capitalize on. Like he got all the RNG in, in the world, all the plot armor in the world. Do with money, rich girls find him attractive, like she's gonna say in this video, like stuff like that where it'll kind of be easier for him to get her anyway so he doesn't really need game you know what i'm saying and dudes with no game their real game is just their personality in the sense that they just be cool as fuck to the girl like the girl will just like them because they're so cool they're just so genuine and stuff like that whereas dudes with game tr try to be smooth or not even try to be they are smooth they are seductive they are you know what i'm saying they're good at this this art of flirting and all these things that's the difference between those three in simple terms why is this important? It's important because as we look at this video, bro, we want to see that there's opportunities, like literally off rip. Watch this. Rate my um, rate my game from one to ten. Rate my game from one to ten. You know what I'm saying? Now, you could say this requires confidence for him to ask her this, like to put himself in this position, right? But as we're gonna see in the rest of the video, that's not the case. Because he's going to do and say multiple things which position him to have no leverage and position her to have all the leverage and power. So as the video progresses and he says those certain things, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to explain what he could have said that would have gave him the power. And I'm going to show you all how what he said gave her the power. So we're going to break down the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Just stay ready for the whole video, man. We're going to be getting lit. It's going to be funny too, bro. Dojo to the moon to Saturn and we leaving the solar system. The limps won't even know we exist. 80k pack about to get smoked already, man. We had 76,000 subscribers. It's only the sixth day of, of September. It's demon time, man. Y'all know what time, man. Let's start this video. Cause I, I think my shit a ten person. Not even trying to be cocky, but I'm gonna say I be wanting to know. I'm gonna say six. Really? Where I fuck up at? Because assuming his game is low because he fucked up. We was in the club. You trying to talk to me? I, okay, well, you know. Look, look. Go ahead. No, no, they know. You trying to talk to me in the club? So it was kind of like it's really not the setting. But then you know, the first impression. I'm not gonna lie. The first impression was like a six. Well, but where, I, where did I fuck up at? Tell me. Help me. Well, okay, well, let me tell you, but my first impression was just off of, like... That's right. I'm gonna let her keep talking. <clears throat> I guess prior observations, and then you try to talk to me, so I'm like, mm, it wasn't really given, I'm applying pressure. Prior observations, what that mean? 
This is why her rate of a six is not valid. Number one, try to talk to me at the club. It's not really the setting. The fuck am I supposed to do? Follow you and, and, and track your movements and find the setting to talk to you? I shot my shot when I saw you. I don't know if I was ever going to see you again. I didn't want to shoot my shot on Instagram, so I saw you. I wanted you and I got you. That doesn't make him bad game because it's a bad setting. Maybe she could have said it was bad timing. He didn't recognize that it wasn't a good time to come at her. Like, for example, if a guy comes at a girl at a gym, that might ne- not necessarily be a problem, but let's say she has her headphones on. Let's say she's really locked in and the timing is bad. A dude with no game is not going to recognize that it's a better time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I could wait for her to be at getting some water or be waiting for her to like check out or like who knows the case may be. Like the better the timing just might be better. You recognize these kind of situations when you have game. But let's keep going. You're very with the whole idea of her saying prior situations, I would have flipped that on her. So what you mean prior situations? What you was watching me before I came at you? What you was what you so what you you ain't come at me type shit like I would have flipped that on her. That, what does that mean though, man? I be feeling like my name fucked. Is my name bad in the streets? Really? Not in the streets, but definitely on the fucking internet. So it's like I'm not terrible, you know. I'm the I'm the DM you don't accept. Is it like that? I don't answer DMs anyways, but, but I'm saying like that. I'm the DM you don't accept. Another bad positioning to be like, to give her more power and leverage. Oh, I don't do this. That's not, no, you wouldn't have got it anyway. Am, 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 am I the like, DM you don't accept? Is yes. what I'm saying. Really? Without, like, without even realizing it, he's just positioning her ego to get bigger and bigger, positioning her to have more power and power. Man, she got him like silly putty in her hands, wrapped them up and rolled them up and smoked that pack. I, if I would have if I would not met you in person, in like it would have just been totally different. But like if person, you would have slid in my DMs, I would have just never responded. But it, but in person, I'm a vibe, right? Be one. Yes, you're okay. The first impression was not because you know it was hella people. It was just that's why I'm saying the first impression was just not there because it was hella people around. You know, it wasn't a personable vibe. Yeah. But you know, then after you know you you got your little game. Damn, that sucks. I ain't gonna lie, Ari. I be sliding in DMs like a motherfucker. I believe you. But I be, I be missing though. But Dude, now, now it makes your approach different. Now it makes sense why I be missing, cause it's like niggas been seeing all this shit on like these little blogs. Definitely, definitely do be in the blogs, and you know, you know. And they not even trying. Not everybody be agreeing. What did I be doing? What did I say wrong on the net? You know, personally, I already told you. What? You toxic. You think so? I know so. Why am I toxic? I don't get it. I don't understand. You know, so you don't really, think I'm a really, I mean, Wait, the, bigger, I the best part is coming. I'm, I'm a loving person. I don't think I'm toxic. I think I'm a loving person. I think you have. You try to have good intentions. Does that make sense? I try. I think I, I be having good intentions. Okay, well, it might not always come across. This, this is a side advice that's not relevant to this video. This is why one of the laws of power has to do with your reputation and guarding your reputation as something is important. Because people will never give you the chance to get to know you and see who you really are. They will judge you based on who they think you are. And nine times out of ten, bro, everybody don't have all the time in the world to get to know you. So that's basically their best source of like, well, well, who is that? Oh, well, that's DDG. What do he be doing? Well, he be saying this and doing this. And this. So this is why you have to be careful with everything you say, everything you do. Excuse me. And to be conscious, conscious, and to be conscious of how that's, you know, lining you up in other people's eyes. This is not the same thing as saying care what other people think about you. I don't care what people think about me, but I still guard my reputation because let's say this, there's a business meeting or somebody wants to propose some business to me and they hear something false about me or hear something dishonorable or bad, that, that now limits my offers. If, if let's say a girl, like for example, she's saying some girls might not apply to his, reply to his DM because they hear bad things about him. And that might not even be true. That'd be the crazy part. 
with the whole rumor and reputation thing, it might not even be true. He just might have did something that might have been misinterpreted. But if you just being silly and goofy and posting memes on your story all day, you just doing all this goofy stuff on the internet, just not talking to DDG right now. Just you, you. If you're doing all this goofy stuff on the internet, you just you making it seem cool to be toxic and you posting all this dumb and wild stuff, everybody is noticing that, bro. So just be just be aware of how you might be hurting yourself down the line. It's, I'm telling you, and this, and this is why this is important. That's why that whole last rant was important. Is because you might think that girl don't like you. You might think that girl, she don't, she ain't shoot her shot at you, or she not flirting. You might not be able to know if she likes you or not. I guarantee you, she's paying attention. It be the same girls that don't speak up, they don't flirt, they don't do nothing to let you know that they like you. But they be paying attention to your every move. I swear to God, bro. Women are like that. Like, they will really study you before they even, like, decide whether or not you get a chance or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how them niggas just yelled in my video. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm I'm funny. I almost pulled out the scrap. You know me. Big gangsta. You been cheating on me? Listen. Damn. I'm single. I'm not... I'm not cheating on nobody, but I'm single. I'm, I'm dating. I'm actively dating. All right, here's the first. Here's where we're going to get to the leverage and the position and the power. Are you cheating on me? See, you're going to see it consistently as, as I break down his future statements. Like I said, the best part of this stuff is comes towards the end of the video. But this is one of the first examples. Are you cheating on me versus you better not be cheating on me? Better not be sharing what's mine. And then she be like, what's yours? That's pressure, bro. That's pressure. One is pressure and one is like like coming from a place of like weakness. One is coming from a place of power. One is coming from a place of weakness. This positioning and leverage, bro. Same statement, just worded a little differently. One says, because you got to think about it. This is going to be the main narrative for the rest of this video when I break down his statements. Don't just look at what he's saying. What is what is his words implying? What is read between the lines? He might say this one sentence, but what are the different meanings behind the sentence? It's going to be so clear later in the video because I remember he said something like at the end of the video he said something to her like, "Uh, all right, well, you know, I'm not going to bother you anymore." He said he said something like, "Um, you know, I don't want to hold you any longer." By him saying, I don't want to hold you any longer, that says multiple things under underneath that one sentence. Number one, you have something more important to do than to be with me. Number two, I know you would rather be somewhere else than be with me. Number three, I feel like I'm wasting your time. Number four, I'm bothering you. Number five, like it's so many different things that I don't want to hold you any longer says underneath it versus if he would have just left her by saying I got some business to do or, or I got somewhere to be I got somewhere to handle it was nice talking to you but I, I you know what I'm saying I gotta do something I gotta leave it's the place of power and it's the place of like von, vulner I say vulnerability but vulnerability bro I'm coming from a place of being vulnerable that's the first example I want to explain it now so when he says it later y'all get why I'm pointing it out I'm, just playing. I'm happy for you man What's up? You know. Now you gotta do I'm happy for you. Man, fuck that. If you ain't really happy, then don't fake be happy, then don't. Nah, tell her, like, damn. So, or you can even play, bro. Not, not to say you gotta be a serious tryhard. This is a big part of flirting, too. Trolling. Trolling is a part of flirting. Let's say he wanted to troll her. You cheat. You better not be out here cheating on me. You better not be out here giving, sharing what's mine. Trolling clearly because obviously he might not have hit her up in a while. He might not talk every day. It's not obviously she might not be his girl, but he's trolling. And then she's gonna be like, Giving up is yours. Yeah, you better not listen. This is the third. And then him saying, I'm happy for you. If she would have said that to me, another way he could have said it in the place of power is single. That's with other guys. So you really, so you really just left me and just started going crazy. That's nah, that's crazy. And now I start talking shit to the camera. Like, yo, chat, y'all can't trust these girls for nothing. Like, this is him holding the camera. Man, y'all better be careful, man. These, these girls switch up so fast. You so Hollywood. But he's obviously just trolling her. He's flirting by playing and talking shit and being playful. I'm trying to date. I can't really get into that shit, though. Why? I don't really, I don't like nobody. 
don't be liking nobody. I be trying to like motherfuckers, but then they do something that I don't like, and I already got like a, I got like a so, short, I got like a short. Um, what's did you I call do it? something that you didn't like? Boom! This right here. Watch how he fumbles this. Like, nigga, speed run of how he fumbles this. I'm gonna let it play first before I even break it down. I got like a so, short. I got like a short. Um, did I do it? something that you didn't like? Nah, it was just. Oh my god, bro. But this is what I'll be saying, bro. No game. It's not that DDG has bad game. Nah, he's just terrible. He just has no game. He doesn't have the game to recognize to use this position. Now, listen. Let's let's explain this. Because I always be like, oh, yeah. Her Dooney. What's her level in Dooney land? What's, what's this? You already know. Take her to Dooney land. One way trip in, in the back of the Dooney van straight to the gulag. Y'all know how we pack them up and send them off. You know what I mean? But listen. The reason I say that. Is the more experience a girl has, the more manipulative she may be, the more finesse she may have, and the more power, and the better she's at that, the higher her Dooney power level. Let's say she does something like OnlyFans. Let's say whatever. We, it's so many things that can add to her Dooney power level, as we said. And with guys, if I say you ain't a high enough level to slay that, she will one-shot you and knock you. No self-res, no redeploy. This is why. Because a dude with a higher power level is going to capitalize off that situation. Let's break it down. Look at it. She knew she was vulnerable. She knew she was vulnerable, bro. Look at it. A short, um, look, 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 look. And this is the thing about women. When women know they're vulnerable, they submit. When they know they're vulnerable, they submit. People, her whole body language just changed to her tone of voice. She, she asked it soft and nicely. She, she changed her posture. She crossed her leg and she got all humble and calm. To ask him this question. Same way we look at Tiana Trump. When Tiana Trump, in that video, that reaction I did with um, her, Soldier Boy, Speed, and all them, Tiana Trump was talking to Speed like this. Same thing with the Kai Sanat video and the Scum TK video. We all see how women will switch their behavior to be more submissive. They can tap in and out of it when they want to. And the reason she did that is because she knew she was vulnerable. She knew she was in a position of submission. So she just let him have it. But guess how he sells it? He just says, no. Nah. Bro, capitalize off that. Uh, uh, this, is what, this is why a dude with a higher power level it just has more game. So a nigga like me, nigga, I ain't going for that. I'm not telling her no. Even if the question, is, even if the answer is no, I'm going to troll her and play along with it. I'm going I'm to I'm do this first. I'm going to be like, she's going to ask that, right? That's something that she didn't like. But she was all submissive. No, nah, it was just... She gets awesome in like. I would have I would have just played along with it. I'd be like. I'm like, well. And I looked at it, I'm like, do you want the truth? You want me to be real? Just just to bait her more. Just to now she's thinking. The truth. Not tell me. What did I do something wrong? Now she's questioning herself. Now she's like, oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And by me not, by me faking, not trying to tell her. So do you want to know the truth? She's gonna think that I don't want to. I don't want to tell her something to hurt her feelings. So she's really gonna be curious. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Uh uh. Tell me, bro. She's gonna start pressing him and come from a place. Now he has the power and the leverage, cause he can decide to tell her, or he can decide to be like, Nah, I ain't gonna tell you. And if he says, No, I'm not gonna tell you. Then she's gonna keep asking. No, tell me. I can handle it. Blah blah blah. blah. You see what I'm saying? The whole positioning and leverage goes to a different place, bro. He now has more power now. But by him instantly saying. Nah. He just blew a three to one lead in the series, bro. It was just bad timing. Okay, that's honest. Yeah, it was just bad timing. You know how that go. No. I know how that went. You know how that go. No. Watch now when we watch this on Twitch, what we saw is that her ego comes right back and taking all the power. But you know. I, I don't have no hard feelings towards the situation though. Yeah, no, it's it was never nothing against you. It was me. Uh, trust me, I know. I'm nah, not it was, it was, nah, it was me. Within 30 seconds, she's going from submissively curious if she did something wrong and wanting to know to arrogantly, I know I ain't do nothing wrong. 
Now do you see why you have to trolling is flirting? Now do you see why playing a little bit of games is is more fun? It's more seductive. Now do you see why? And and listen, here's a lesson to y'all. It's, it's even a law of power. Crush your enemy totally. I remember my chemistry teacher told me this when I told him the work was too easy, so I stopped trying hard. He was like, no, 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 no. When you see an ant, you crush it. You see an ant, nigga, nigga you step on that shit, nigga. Don't, don't take it easy. Don't, oh, no, it's not that. Deep. No, you got to kill. Listen, crush your enemy totally. One shotter. Play alone. Finesse that. Do that. Keep that power and leverage. Because this is what happens. You let that one ant go, you got a whole infestation. You give him an inch, they take a mile. By him saying, nah, nah, let her have it. Now she's egoing him. I know I ain't do nothing wrong. If you know you ain't do nothing wrong, then why you asked me five seconds ago? You see what I'm saying? Hold on, chat. Uh, let's hop right, back right into it. I had to do something real quick. It's me. I shouldn't have. Yeah, I just. It was, very, it was really, really, really bad timing. But it's okay though. It's okay because look, look, we still cool. Yeah, I was finna say the exact same like, thing. Like y'all have no beef. Y'all be blowing me up, asking me what's the listen. Now y'all can stop tagging on my post. Yeah. This is this should be all the answers that y'all need right here. What your what your TikTok say if I put these braids in my head? What? Oh. Yeah, you be watching my TikTok again? Yeah, I know that one. What your TikTok say? You be watching my TikTok videos. Like, obviously he does. But she had to go out her way to say and ask him just to flex that power just a little bit more. It went viral. Just to, just to flex it a little bit What's more. Up, man? It's good seeing you, though. It's always good no, seeing you. No, no. See you catch up. <laughs> you, about go, you, you about to go to your nigga crib. I'm about to go home and pack. I'm going out of town tomorrow. Going back to Florida for the weekend. Oh, you is from Florida. I am from Florida. Cool, I'm either bye. I'm either gonna give me a, a second spot in Atlanta or in Miami. I knew he was gonna say Miami. Either or, but well, I'm. I gotta hear you say that a few times though. Yeah, I'm tired of LA. Hey, cause the worst part is coming. Um, the worst part is about to come. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, I'm tired of LA. Be bored. Um. Yeah, I'd be super bored in LA. Extremely bored in LA. LA doesn't give me vibes. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. I hate it. I hate it now. <sighs> Let's get into it. Let me not even try to troll too much. Listen, bro. Here's why this is bad. Never do anything like this with a girl. Never. It's a pity party. A pity party. Like, never put yourself in a position where she's feeling bad for you. Pity? And, 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 and like those aww, those oh my dear baby. Autumn moments are the farthest thing away from sexual attraction, sexual tension. Attraction period, not even just sexual attraction. Let's not even make this about sex. They are the farthest away from being attractive. It's like she look at you like a baby, like a, a poor little puppy that needs help or saving or weak. Like just something as little as this. I swear to God, bro, because it's it's on the same page of as of I ain't got no girls. Like I just be so lonely. Oh, I, I don't have nothing to do. I just be bored all day all the time. And, and you know, you just seem so like like desperate. Like you just seem like you have nothing going on for yourself. On God, bro. On God, like that's literally how it, like a woman would take it. It's like, and you ain't doing nothing. Like you really have nothing going on. You just bored all the time. Like you just need something to do, because it's almost like you're 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 secretly suggesting to her that you want her to fill up that boredom. Is not really. It's not really suggesting that, but. From the girl, she's going to distance herself because... Not distance herself, like, fully. But during the conversation, she's going to feel like like it's going to... You're bored and you need something to do. And to try to make sure it's not her, she's going to give you that, oh, and... Yikes, it sucks. Because she's like, I'm not going to be the one that saves you. I'm not going to be the one that helps you. Kind of thing, bro. Well, but 
Well, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. You know. Well, that well, he probably could have finessed it on tire, positioned himself for a W. But when I get my second spot in Miami, we lit. We out, we outside. We getting lit down there. You got me? Or something like I don't know, bro. But it depends on. It, it really just depends on the circumstances. I can never say what I would say in a situation because my smoothest lines really come on my toes. I swear to God. Just saying, what's up? Might as well. It be coming from the situation. Might as well. Might as well make a couple dollars. Trying to give her the thought energy. She she masculinity. She with all the masculinity she got said. Alright. Period. I'm just playing fucking with I'm not even gonna Hold on, bro. Let me let me uh let me make the screen bigger on what just happened so y'all so y'all really could see what just happened, bro. Bro. Alright. I'm just playing. Okay, I'm not even gonna put that in the air, man. Look! She reaching it out. So by him doing some cringe ass shit, which he probably thought was teasing her, or maybe he just trolling, maybe he just fucking around with her. Just trying to play with her a little bit. Psych, like he ain't getting that done. But it's cringe, bro, that's cringe. She plays along with it. She's like, alright, give me a kiss. The way you finesse this, the way you finesse your leverage back. You assert your dominance, my boy. Tell it, all right, come here. Get closer. I can't kiss you all the way over here. Come here. In a real seductive way. All right, come here then. Oh, no, you scared. See, you don't don't play with me like that. Don't start something you can't finish. So now you took a playful thing into teasing her, into challenging her, and debating her, and luring her on. That's that persuasion. That's that smooth seduction. Oh, no, you scared. Don't Listen, don't start something you can't finish. All right, come here then. I, nah, I really give you one. Don't play with me. Don't play with fire. Type shit. Bro. She said, that's whatever. Bro, he takes her trying to get him to kiss her to this. A kachow. Uh, you're cool, dude. Gee willikers, man. Bro, within five seconds. He takes her offering a kiss into her offering her a fist bump. And they going to do the whole nine yards. The boom, boom, bang. Woo, we're so cool. Bro, how do you sell that bad? This is why I say no game and bad game are two different things. Bad game is trying to finesse and failing terribly. No game is just missing opportunities, selling your own bread, and, and just not even realizing what you have in front of you. Because niggas with game are going to have the experience and they want to have the assertiveness and the kill mode and the confidence to notice a window and, and shoot the opportunity. Or to smell or to even create their own opportunities or to even finesse from nothing. It's kind of fucked up though, cause it's the left hand. You never supposed to dab. With oh the yeah, left. you're right. She giving him game. You you never supposed to dab with the left hand. What you doing, man? She giving my man's game. A grown ass man. Come on, DDG. Come on, Slime. Let's see. Switch. Here. I'm just gonna do that. Uh oh, red red flag, y'all. Red flag. Code red, y'all. The Dooney Demon got the camera. Code red. Okay. Why'd you, you snap? snap? You gotta snap. Okay. Snap it. Come on. <laughs> Bro. From. 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 I wanna kiss. To. You gotta snap when you shake my hand. Fight for that. Bottom line is though. Like I said, one of the most important things I said in this video, bro, is that you need to realize your words are more effective and powerful than you think. So as you say things, 
And I keep, it's crazy I keep referencing the laws of power. I never even talk about them this much in, in my YouTube videos, right? But it's another law of power. Always say less than necessary. Do you know why you need you can say less than necessary? Because when you say enough, when you're really effective with your speech, one every sentence counts. So you might say one simple sentence, but it implies so many different things. That little sentence of, oh wait, let me actually get to the part. Oh wait, 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 no, I missed it. I think I missed it. Man, a couple dollars. But I hate it. I hate it now. Well. But I ain't gonna hold you up, man. You know. I ain't gonna hold you up. Hold you up, meaning, like I said in the beginning. That's implying so many different things. What he could have said to keep the leverage and the power, what he could have said is, listen, I got listen, I got somewhere to be, but it's nice running into you. I'm gonna call you later. That I'm gonna call let's break the I'ma call you later down part first. That's the most obvious one. That's just leading her on. And now if he really calls her, that's not leading her on. But like I said, it just gives her hope. Like, oh, I might hear from him. Why? She doesn't know. So she's like kinda curious now. Why does he wanna hit me up? Why does he want to call me? Why does he want to talk to me later? Hmm. Like, she's getting curious now. She's getting more excited about it, right? Then the whole, I got somewhere to be. It leaves her with this feeling that, like, your time is precious. Your time is li limited. Like, you just left when you wanted to leave. You have the, you, you left because you have to do something. You left her. She's, she's sitting there like, damn, what do I do now? You know what I'm saying? And like I said, when you say sentences, the more effective, they say multiple things at once. I have somewhere to be. To, what does that say? It's literally the opposite of, I'm going to hold you up. Why? Because it says, I have somewhere more important to be. I have something more important to do. There's any, any out of all the things I can do with my time for the next hour, it is not spending it right here with you. Number four, I've spent too much time with you. Number five, it'd be a waste of time to stay with you longer. Bro, it's like I really break it down to the scientific level, bro. But I'm telling y'all, just be more aware of these things. The more game you have, the more you start to realize these things. You become more effective and you start playing chess with it. I'm going to say this is going to make her say that. And then I'm going to say that. And then boom, I got it. I'm telling you, you got to be able to think fast on your feet. Think fast, my guy. Dojo to the moon to Saturn and we leaving the solar system. The limbs won't even know we exist. 80k pack finna be in the air.